So while the world was celebrating, I was also celebrating an achievement of my own. Uh, we just hit 700 subs and I want to take the moment to thank you every single one of you guys. Uh, again, like I always said, um, the channel would be clearly nothing without you guys. So I want to give you guys a big thanks, man. I can't believe we hit 700. Um, when I hit 500, I wasn't even thinking. I was like, wow, okay, I guess 600 is next. And then we hit 600. But I remember when I was at like 100 subs, I was like, man, it's not. It's probably not even possible to hit 500 because there was a point in my channel where i wasn't even growing at some point like i just you know there was no recommendation i wasn't getting no you know views and you know i didn't have a niche i didn't know what to upload but i right now i think i have a steady flow you know the streams are been good because of you guys um so i want to give you guys a big thanks because it's all because of you guys we hit 700 can you believe it 700 subs uh can't wait till we hit a thousand i mean we nearly there though but um once again thank you every single one of you guys uh hopefully you enjoyed this video fellas the gaming community has disappointed me <laughs> the gaming community has just lost like a thousand xp the gaming community just went down with no quick revive while playing solo. The this is insane. Are you I'll go ahead and let you, you know, examine what you see on the screen here because this is insane. Uh one of my viewers, I remember we were on stream and somebody brought this up talking about teabagging. How teabagging is, you know, considered as harassment. Uh now I took it as a joke. I was joking around how I was like, oh, you know, I'll be teabagging. Imagine teabagging become a law where you can't teabag or you go to jail, you pay a fine or something. And I was gonna be I was gonna be the first person in the world to go to jail for teabagging, right? I was making jokes, not knowing, you know, not truly believing this was a real thing, not truly believing teabagging was a problem. People were actually soft and actually, you know, uh, you know, actually considered teabagging as a harassment, right? I didn't I didn't really take it that way. I didn't really, you know, go too far. I was just joking. Until I seen this tweet uh today. I've been exposed by this tweet today. Um I'm going to go ahead and read it anyways, but I'm sure you already seen it. We got disqualified from all Fate Legion 1 tournaments because I teabagged my teammate box which i don't understand but i teabagged my teammates box people in algs were teabagging each other so now again fellas this is disappointing and this is just weak and soft and dumb and just stupid you mean to tell me somebody got banned from all tournaments at that for just teabagging so you mean to tell me now i can't do this i can't teabag somebody as a joke i can't you know play around say we talking trash in the you know in the lobby and by the way lobby talking trash in lobbies is not even a thing no more but say hypothetically this happened in 2022 i'm joking around we playing in the lobby we talking trash and i end up backing up my trash by you know killing the person or you know dominating the lobby and i cannot teabag the guy that i was talking trash to or if somebody was talking trash to me and i end up dominating him you mean tell me i cannot teabag him because it's harassment because it's a uh, you know it's not right uh, it's like a it's like i'm committing murder or something what is going on harassment in real life is different than harassment in the game man like or you know doing stuff like that in the game it's totally different you mean tell me everyone is soft now where now we don't even have lobbies no more we don't even have you know force game chat we don't remember back then when we had that we don't even have that anymore if you been in a mw2 lobby or a halo lobby any lobby back in the 360 back in the xbox days any lobby that was in the 360 times those times you had to endure some trash talking 
It's not even teabag. Teabag wasn't even the first thing. You had to endure some trash talking. You mean to tell me people are this soft now? Where teabagging in a virtual thing, a virtual game, a you know thing that's not real, a pixel. I'm teabagging a pixel. I'm not going up to people and actually teabagging them, but I'm teabagging a pixel. And you mean to tell me that's wrong and that's considered harassment? Is this real? Is this real life? Is, is this a fake video? Am I making a fake video? Is are we like in some type of different dimension? What's going on? You mean tell me these guys got tournaments for playing around and teabagging each other? Everybody was teabagging each other, and they got disqualified wow so hearing this news to me i've lost you know a lot of faith in the gaming community i mean i didn't have too high in the beginning because you know gaming to me already fell off kind of it's falling off i should say but this just lowered <laughs> or made it high made my disappointment higher i should say towards the gaming community because this is insane so I can't do this. I can't teabag anybody. That's wrong to teabag and play around. Remember, teabag. I don't think teabagging even came from, you know, somebody really wanted to teabag somebody in real life. This is something we left our mark. Like, say I'm 1v1ing somebody and I'm smoking them, you know, and they were trash talking. The only way I can get back at them is first to win. And to teabag them so they can know who won here and who is on top here. And you mean to tell me we can't do that anymore. First of all, it's not that we can't do it anymore. But these guys getting disqualified because I'm going to still do it. If I'm playing some game and I'm trash talking, I will still do it. I don't care. But you mean to tell me these guys got disqualified for this reason. You guys let me know what you think about this soft way of the gaming community. Not only not remember when back then when not that death threats are even a big thing. But remember back then when uh, you had developers getting death threats, but they still were making the game still talking to the community that were giving them death threats. And you remember uh, in games where, you know, in the lobbies mw2 cod 4 people were calling you names and names you know how many times i've been called the n-word <laughs> but it's i don't take that i just back up my play you know i back up you know i dominate the lobby i go in there and sweat those are the people that encourage me to sweat those who talk trash instantly i go sweat mode you know just to you know pay them back and also i'll throw in a little tea bag in there you mean to tell me i cannot do that because you guys think it's harassment you guys let me know what you think maybe i'm overreacting am i overreacting maybe you guys let me know what y'all think in the comments because i don't agree with this one bit i don't feel right about this this is insane let me know what y'all think in the comments is this should this be considered harassment or no and if you like the video go ahead and like the video if you dislike the video dislike the video and comment why and if i miss anything if you heard about this and you want to add your input your two cents <laughs> go ahead and put it down below and once again thank you for 700 subs i can't say it enough thank you you guys again i always say it it's because of you the ch channel is even where it's at i just upload content it's all y'all y'all don't want to watch it and like and share it so it's you once again thank you for watching